Hey there do-it-yourself technicians, it's time for another trip down memory lane with the Tandy Coco 3 from 1986. Happy New Year everyone, and a belated Merry Christmas as well. It's summer holiday time here in Australia, so I've spent a bit of my free time putting together my old Tandy Colour Computer 3, affectionately known as the Coco 3. This machine came out in 1986, although I didn't get mine until 1988. It comes stock with 128K, yes, K, of RAM, but its standout feature was the fact that it could run 16 colours at a time from a palette of 64. This was in the day when just about every other machine was black and white. Yes, I'm looking at you, Apple users. Between 1988 and 1991, I added some extra options to this machine. Dual floppy drives, which was much better than tape-based storage for programs. I got two joysticks and a huge collection of software from the day. Getting this out of the boxes. Yes, the original boxes. I'm one of those people. And getting it set up was not without its problems, though. The floppy disk controller did not seem to want to work at all. It just simply wasn't recognised by the machine. So I had to get out a pencil eraser and clean the gold contacts on the cartridge to make it work. Troubleshooting at its best. Lizzie and I spent a bit of time between Christmas and New Year pottering around on the machine. I showed her all of the basic programs that I'd written all those years ago. We played a bunch of games that I and other people had written and started her down the path of learning basic programming. Yes, literally basic is the language on the Coco. Beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code. I have to say, I absolutely love the Coco manuals. They teach basic programming in a way that anybody can understand. It's fun, it's friendly, and this little guy pops up with little suggestions and things all the time. It's really cute. I also found this huge list of high scores that I wrote out varying times between 88 and June of 1991, including a few by my then girlfriend and now wife, Bernie, which is hilarious. So what computer related projects have you done over the holidays? Or have you just been taking it easy? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this episode, hit the like button below. And if you think of someone that might be interested, feel free to share it with them. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. You can subscribe by clicking on the link here. Subscribe to our mailing list up here. Or there's some other episodes that you may not have seen before here and here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.